the decks are awesome. I've been selling those and it's, I'm on fire as far as that's concerned, but now I've got to hire somebody um, to fulfill on all of the work. And I'm not sure if I should try to get some systems organized first. I mean, like, I'm kind of just now getting back on the horse from being on vacation and sick and I'm not sure where I need to start. I'm worried that with all these new people coming in, um, like some of them are a lot larger clients that I'm used to dealing with. And it seems like the decks really work for the higher value clients. So I don't know if I should like try to partner with somebody in seven figure firms and have them go through it with me, or if I just need to look at hiring a full-time employee. Um, I just hit 20,000 a month with what I've got in recurring revenue right now. Okay, so it's recurring revenue, and is that cash collected, or is there more cash collected from one-time service? Um, no, these are all recurring. I did two quarterly plans. Um, one's three thousand a quarter, and one's like twenty-seven fifty a quarter. Okay, and so I so we're at twenty thousand a month, and you know you're right at that point where I always tell people one full-time employee for every two hundred fifty thousand in sales. And so what I would say is, yeah, how much is all that twenty thousand recurring? Yeah. So the first person I want to get is a senior or a manager of accounting. Do you have a job at Al? No, like I've never even thought I would ever actually hire somebody. So I have like literally don't know where to start. Great, we're gonna be hiring a lot of people. So what I would say is, you know, um, when you look at this, right, we have the job ad, right? We have the culture case, which, you know, you'll see. And basically that's where we document what our sort of interview process was with that. And I would say you generally need about 85 applicants, you know, to find someone great. Are you willing to work with somebody remote or do you want to be a person? Um, no, I'm fine with remote as long as the job gets done. Yep, nationwide. And I would think about this person as a team member. So yeah, they're a full-time employee, but like this could be somebody, if you find the right person, this could be somebody you're going to share your life. With. You know, you guys could be close. You guys could have, you know, a very close relationship. I mean, they, they could end up being a major part of your life. And so I would think about the preciousness of that, that person, uh, the time they're going to spend with you, your, the amount of your attention that's going to go towards them. And I would really take it, take it seriously, not in a like scary way, but in a like, I really like excited, like, you know, I want to really find somebody that's going to be a great team member. And I would go into it with that mentality. You know, our team can help you with the job ad, culture case and getting this all done. I would uh, think about doing it nationwide. I would also pick any gender, you know, I know sometimes people have preferences, but I think if somebody goes local and says, oh, I only like to work with guys, I only like to work with women or whatever, you know, you know, I, I, you know, I know people do say that, but I just, I, I think if you work with anyone, you know, and anywhere, my gosh, you just get so many more candidates and you really get the chance of picking somebody truly on merit. And, you know, that's the important thing is like, it's just so important to pick somebody on a merit basis that is going to be a great fit. And so now in order for this to happen though, right, I would think about it like this. So right now it's July 21st. I would not stop the decks. Like I would take everything that I can and I would try to do it because, you know, you're not really guaranteed to find this person in one week or two weeks or three weeks, but it probably will happen quicker than you think. You know, I think it's about 50 million people that have lost a job since this thing started. Now, a lot of people have been rehired, but you know, it's a lot of people that are in instability when it comes to a job. And so, you know, when we look at it over your next, let's say 90 days, are your sales going to go down? Are your sales going to stay the same or are your sales going to go up? And so we don't know for sure. And when you go and you study people in the group and, you know, I've been studying these cash sales charts, it's not, you don't always know when you're going to have your moment. You can't predict it the exact month, but you know, you're, you're doing well right now, but you know, it's possible you're at 20,000 in six months. It's possible you're at 50,000 in six months. And so, you know, knowing that, that there's that range of possibility, I want to plan for an increase. Planning for an increase means you need that hire. If I were to find that person today, would I hire them? Well, we'll have to see, but I would also be prepared for sales to go down. You know, if your sales go to, let's say 15K a month and you find the perfect person, we're probably not gonna hire them, right? If your sales go to 30K a month and you find the perfect person, I'm probably gonna hire them, right? Mm -hmm. And so if your sales are at the same and you find the perfect person, I'm really gonna ask myself like, okay, like, you know, can I get the sales to support that salary? Because I want, I want this person and I want them on a competitive salary. I don't wanna hire somebody that's 40 grand a year 
I want to hire somebody on a competitive salary. When you look at an accounting manager, that's fifty to eighty-five thousand dollars a year. Okay, and I want that because, but I want to be able to make the revenue to be able to pay for them, and cover their costs, cover operating expenses, and make profit. Right. Right. And so I'm going to go into it with that mentality, and I'm going to go after you know a really competitively salaried person anywhere in the U.S., any gender, hire them based on merit. Oh my gosh, you're going to have so much. Is that chart in our, um, where do I find that chart right there? Yeah, I, I mean, I have it right here, so you can take a screenshot of it or okay. you can uh, you know, get the recording to this. But yeah, we have it in multiple places uh, in the program as well. But um, yeah, I mean, uh, you know, our team can get this to you as well. But, you know, the point is that I'm going to plan for this. I want to grow revenue to 30, 40 grand a month um, over the course of the next uh, three to six. Not really, really, I would just, I would put a goal of, you know, 40,000 a month in the next four months. Yeah. And, you know, and put that goal out there and have the goal to hire somebody in 60 to 90 days. And I would create that future. If something goes wrong, then you don't need to hire them. But you need to build, a, like, I'm fine. Like, you can even hire them right now. But I think it's fun to do it where you're growing cash sales and hiring them at the same time. So I would plan on in the next 60 to 90 days getting to 30, 40 grand a month and hiring them at the same time. 